Back in April of 23, U.S. Space Command outlined requirements for sustained space maneuver and dynamic space operations and set the target for an operational demonstration by 2026. Can you speak to as how the Space Force plans to meet the uh, U.S. Space Command target for an operational demonstration of sustained space maneuver and dynamic space operations by that deadline? We have on contract a demonstration of a refueling shuttle, a propellant depot, and satellites we call Tetra-5 satellites. Tetra mean they have arms, they have refueling arms. That demo is scheduled to launch in 2026. We think that'll show a lot of positive results in terms of collecting the data on which of these types of capabilities, which of these types of technologies is most fruitful for the enduring mission. We think it'll be very positive. We're following that up with a second demo in 2027, which is actually five more different types of technologies associated with refueling on orbit. Again, the purpose is to collect the data, determine which ones are best, what standards we like, what interfaces are most productive so that we can continue to invest in that technology. So we're on track for 2026. And with the certification of ULA's Vulcan rocket on March 26th, we now have multiple viable space options for the all-important National Security Space Launch Mission. Can you talk a little bit about the importance of competition within space as a driver for both innovation and a source of resiliency? I think I'm preaching to the choir when I say competition is in the benefit of the government. It helps drive innovation, it helps drive costs down, but from my perspective, from my seat, it also creates resiliency in the architecture. That's my job to make sure we have assured access to space. If I have multiple companies that can help us deliver capabilities on orbit, I feel more comfortable that we have resilient architecture to put that in place. That's resiliency against any particular system that might have an anomaly where you would ground the system. We have alternates, we have backups. If a company has problems, we have alternates, we have backups. So the resiliency in the launch infrastructure is just as important as the competition driving the cost down is to me.